we have completed our discussion on series and parallel combination of resistors inductors and capacitors and now we are going to have discussion on the voltage divider rule in case of resistors inductors and capacitors and we know when we have the series combination of the elements then the current through all the elements remains the same but the voltage across the elements are different and we can calculate the voltage across individual elements using the voltage divider rule so let us understand how to apply the voltage divider rule when we have resistors connected in series and here in this particular case we have two resistors connected in series and the resistance of the first resistor is R1 resistance of the second resistor is R2 and the voltage across the combination of two resistors is equal to V and let's say the current through both the resistors is equal to I. Now in order to have the voltage across R1 and voltage across R2 we need to calculate the current I and we can calculate the current I because we know the equivalent resistance is equal to R1 plus R2 and therefore the total current I is equal to voltage V divided by the equivalent resistance or we can say that V over R1 plus R2 will give us current I. Now let's say that the voltage across the first resistor is equal to V1 and the voltage across the second resistor is equal to V2 then V1 will be equal to current I multiplied to R1 so I multiplied to R1 and V2 is equal to current I multiplied to R2 so I multiplied to R2 and I is equal to V over R1 plus R2 so V1 will be equal to V divided by R1 plus R2 multiplied to R1 and V2 will be equal to V over R1 plus R2 multiplied to R2. Now understand how we can write down V1 and V2 directly. If you focus on the result you will find here we have the total voltage that is the voltage across the combination of resistors and then we are dividing the total voltage by the equivalent resistance or the sum of resistance values that is R1 plus R2 in this case then we are multiplying by the own resistance value that is we are calculating V1 and V1 is the voltage across R1 therefore we will multiply by own resistance that is R1. Similarly V2 will be equal to the total voltage divided by the equivalent resistance multiplied to the own resistance value that is R2. Now when we have n resistors connected in series and let's say we want to calculate the voltage across the third resistor then we will divide the total voltage by the equivalent resistance that is R1 plus R2 all the way to Rn and this is our current then we will multiply by the own resistance value that is R3. So I hope you now understand what is voltage divider rule. In series combination the voltage is getting divided according to the resistance values we are having. When the resistance value is more the voltage across it will be more. Now we will understand how to apply the voltage divider rule when we have inductors connected in series. And here we have two inductors connected in series and the total voltage is equal to V and we know the current 
through both the inductors will remain same and let's say the current is I and the voltage across the first inductor is equal to V1 and the voltage across the second inductor is equal to V2 and we know the voltage V is equal to the equivalent inductance D I by DT and from here we can say that DI by DT is equal to V over L equivalent and L equivalent is equal to L1 plus L2 so we can write DI by DT equal to V over L1 plus L2 and the voltage V1 is equal to L1 multiplied to di by dt so L1 di by dt and the voltage V2 is equal to L2 di by dt so V2 is equal to L2 di by dt and we know di by dt is equal to V over L1 plus L2 therefore V1 will be equal to V over L1 plus L2 multiplied by L1 and V2 will be equal to V over L1 plus L2 multiplied by L2. Now we can write directly V1 and V2 by simply understanding what is happening in the result. If you look at V1 then you will find it is equal to the total voltage divided by L1 plus L2 that is our di by dt and then we are multiplying it by the own inductance that is L1. Similarly V2 is equal to V over L1 plus L2 multiplied to the own inductance that is L2. Now when we have n inductors connected in series and we want to have the voltage across the fifth inductor then V5 will be equal to V over equivalent inductance that is L1 plus L2 all the way to Ln and then we will multiply it by the own inductance that is L5. So I hope the voltage divider rule is clear for the inductors as well. And now we will move on to the voltage divider rule when we have capacitors in series connection. Two capacitors are there having the capacitance values C1 and C2 and the overall voltage is equal to V and the current through both the capacitors is equal to I. And let's say the voltage across the first capacitor is V1 and the voltage across the second capacitor is equal to V2 and we will first find out the total charge in terms of total voltage and the equivalent capacitance and we know the equivalent capacitance can be calculated like this 1 over C equivalent equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 and from here we can say that C equivalent is equal to C1 multiplied to C2 divided by C1 plus C2 and the total charge delivered by the voltage source is equal to the equivalent capacitance multiplied to the voltage and the equivalent capacitance is equal to C1 multiplied to C2 divided by C1 plus C2 multiplied to the voltage V. Now we will focus on V1 and V2. V1 is equal to charge Q divided by C1. We know the same charge will be provided to all the capacitors in series combination. The first capacitor is also getting the same charge and the second capacitor will also get the same charge and Q is equal to C1 C2 divided by C1 plus C2 multiplied to V. So V1 we can write as C1 multiplied to C2 divided by C1 plus C2 multiplied to 1 over C1 
C1, C1 will cancel out and this V is also here. And then finally we are getting, finally we are getting V divided by C1 plus C2 multiplied to C2. And V2 will be equal to V divided by C1 plus C2 multiplied to C1. Now when you focus on the final results, you will find we are having the total voltage V divided by C1 plus C2 which is similar to these two cases but when we calculate the voltage across the first capacitor then we don't multiply by the own capacitance that is C1, we multiply by the other capacitor's capacitance that is C2. So here we have C2 multiplied. Similarly for V2 we have V over C1 plus C2 multiplied to C1 that is the value of capacitance of the first capacitor. So I hope you now have the understanding of voltage divider rule when we have capacitors connected in series. Now what will be the result when we have n capacitors connected in series? This is the homework for you. You need to tell me what will be the voltage across the third capacitor when n capacitors are connected in series.